Good morning friends. Today I am going to show you the demonstration for the aseptic transfer technique. How we are going to perform this aseptic transfer technique at uh, microbiology practical in uh, microbiology practicals. Okay. So initially this aseptic technique is most useful and to avoid any sort of contamination we do perform this type of this aseptic technique one of the most useful technique okay. so initially we are supposed to keep the place the working place in a clean manner so to avoid any sort of contamination now so accordingly this i am going to clean the working sorry, the working table like with the help of some alcohol so to avoid any sort of contamination i am going to clean this Clean, we are supposed to wait for one to two minutes because as you all know this alcohol is flammable so the lamp will be on over here so some precautions to be needed to be taken it's very much necessary okay so all as we all know that today we are going to perform this aseptic technique it may be performed for the sample transfer or for subculturing either it may be for in a, for a slab in the test tubes or in the petri plates wherever the um, media is prepared as today what we, i have done is nutrient agar i have taken the sample sorry i have taken the media and sterilized it after that i will just put it in the petri plate and may allow it to uh, give sufficient time to get it solidified the same mean the slant also i have prepared you can see okay today i am just showing you demonstrating you how we are going to transfer this particular thing okay so initially what i am doing here you all know that whenever this microorganisms are there which are uh, to be uh, subculture from a old uh, culture what we are supposed to do is when uh, uh, the microorganisms from the old culture is inoculated into the fresh nutrient these particular uh, incubated microorganisms will be have giving you the information like uh, by the growth okay such growth of microorganisms can be prepared from a certain period in uh, keeping them in a refrigeration temporarily at 4 degrees centigrade you know okay it can be also preserved for uh, only a uh, 90 days in all okay so it is very much necessary for us if you want to keep them the same thing in a longer period of time prolonged period of time because the survival depends upon one thing that whenever you are going to make them cultivate maximum time as i told you is for 90 days they may be feasible because there are some other certain reasons because it may happen that deficiency of the nutrients or the production of toxic materials or the toxic products may also occur death of the microorganisms may also occur so for this it is very much necessary for us to have a proper growth in a non contaminated place and all so for this reason we are going to perform today how uh, this uh, i'm showing to uh, i'm just demonstrating you how you are going to transfer from a given sample to a slant or some other petri plates okay so as i told you for the maximum 12 weeks or 90 days it can be preserved and uh, further more if you want to again if you want to again uh, just turn it if you want to turn it or uh, sorry if you want to keep in a proper condition you are supposed to transfer the same thing so there are different methods by if you are going to preserve for it a longer time 
like uh, regular uh, whatever the video perform in the lab level like refrigeration is one thing second you are supposed to have <coughs> mineral oil layer method is this is one of the second method third this cairo <coughs> preservation or again freezing lastly one more is this sophisticated advanced method method like um, life flagellation and all. okay so today we, we are going to perform just a, a type of transfer for this uh, thing okay so initially what we do what we do is um, prepare the nutrient broth <coughs> from this i already pre prepared the, uh, the standard format is for 28 grams per 1000 ml today i have prepared just excuse me <coughs> 50 ml so in this i have poured and uh, given sufficient time to get it solidified the same way the slant has been prepared like <coughs> putting some quantity of nutrient broth and uh, keeping it in a slant position for some time till the time it is going to get solidified okay then after this uh, what i will do first basic thing it's uh, very much necessary to have one two drops of alcohol so this is a pattern how we are going to sterilize our hands and wait for some time as i uh, some these are some of the precautions because alcohol is flammable so <coughs> already this lamp is on now so some precautions to be taken as i told you so after this what we are going to do keep in your mind that this is a, a loop where we are going to sterilize it this is the only method by which we can sterilize this loop with the help of this loop only we are going to withdraw the sample from the test tube to bring one more liquid sample so this precaution to be taken is once if you are going to get it sterilized you are not supposed to keep it down anywhere is it clear so after sterilization wait for some time like 10 to 20 seconds so that if it is red hot if you are going to immediately put in the sample it will be get disturbed or because it is too red too hot it may have some <clears throat> effect on this particular sample so now what we are supposed to do slowly remove the cotton plug from the test tube and after that just pass it through flame okay then the sterilized loop we are withdrawing the sample and again without touching the sides of the test tube what i need to do as I, you all know that the slant has been prepared okay same way we are supposed to pass it through the flame and what i need to do the sample is again transfer again passing through the flame closing this thing again as i repeatedly tell you before and after use of this particular loop it should be particularly sterilized because after me who is going to use which sample which type of microorgan on which is working we don't know so it's very much necessary before and after we are supposed to sterilize okay after that as i showed you that we have just transferred to the slant the same way the same way we can also transfer this to a particular liquid media also sorry a liquid sample also this as i told you it has been sterilized and it has been solidified the same way today i will be transferring this particular microorganism from this 
liquid sample again to a liquid sample because the first one what i had showed it was a solid again the same things to be followed because there should not be any sort of contamination so for this reason it's very much necessary for us to have by this manner this will be the culture transfer in this pattern okay so in the third category as i told you if you want to transfer the same thing on a solid media prepared media this is nothing but in a petri plate we have prepared a media media which is got solidified okay so sorry so after sterilization what i will do take the sample again from before we drawing what i will do take the sample close this just i am going to see here i will not it open completely just i will spread it in this pattern okay so why i am spreading in this manner whatever the sample has been taken it should not be at only one place so i am spreading the same thing uniformly see that lot of pressure should not be applied because this solidified agar is there na it will get disturbed if it is going to get disturbed if the sample goes in the formation or the cultivation may not be that proper so i am just spreading it on the upper surface of the media what i have prepared okay <coughs> you better get the marker marker so after sterilization again i kept okay so it's very much necessary for us to mark accordingly because at college level we don't know like me any some student some uh, page scholar may have kept the same sample so for us it is very much necessary like from which sample i have withdrawn i know after this i am not going to use this further okay so in this whatever the sample i have already put on that i'll just mark for example it may be my name oh, some code i'll write or the day, today's date or from which sample i have taken these all particular things to be written on that because there should not be any confusion whether this is my sample or no so this is one of the easiest and most beneficial method and which will be giving you the information about how aseptically we are supposed to do the same way today what i'll do yes i'll write my name sk like whatever today's date is there 21 1 22 if students are doing just they will write the batch number okay so the same way here also i will write my initial something which transferred whatever things i have been done like it may be some date 21 1 22 okay see me here i label the things this will be for the identification purpose just because i am going to keep this is particular i am doing for the growth okay because from this sample whatever uh, withdrawn just i want to see whether any sort of growth is there or no tomorrow after 20 i will be maintaining the temperature at 37 degrees centigrade for 24 hours after that will come to a conclusion whatever the transfer i have done it is proper or no whether some growth is there or no in that okay this is the under, uh, understanding that why it is necessary as initially also i have told you that whenever we are going to store any sort of microorganisms it has got its own limited period of time where the survival rate may differ 
because as you all know that when the growth is there initially as um, in the microbiology we do study there are four stages one a b c d in the a stage what happens will not it will not show any sort of growth over there just it will take down the nutrients what are required are there in the second <coughs> phase what happens after taking the nutrients the growth will start it means that some in the graph you can observe it will be going upper side okay so in the third stage what happens stationary phase where you will be observing what amount of growth is there na the same amount of death may be there so what happens till the completion of the third stage there some production of toxic materials will be there and the exhaustion of the nutrients may also be there so this will obviously disturb the growth pattern of any microorganisms so lastly in the fourth stage death or the decline phase what we observe in the graph is it will be going to a decreasing form so there it is very much necessary for us at this particular stage to take that particular microorganism and transfer to other <coughs> media what we have prepared so there the growth will be in a proper manner okay so this is about the general um, demonstration how we are going to do this aseptic technique okay thank you